and hello everyone uh, welcome back to open form uh, so in the last video we have made three patches right so let's just go through them again now we go to constant all right let me look at the poly mesh we go to boundary we see that we have a top patch we have a wall and we have a bottom patch okay so why do we call it top and bottom because this is the the patch with the larger z coordinate this is the patch with the smaller z coordinate all right so we next thing we want to do is to perhaps do you know an icophone calculation what kind of a what kind of a scenario are we making with icofoam? Well, icofoam uh, will just do a very uh, kind of a laminar flow thing, and it solves for transients as well. So that is a good thing. So um, the very simple case is perhaps we want to simulate the entry region. Entry region. Entry region of a pipe. Okay. Of course, we can do a uh, pressure. We can do a fully developed one as well, but uh, just just uh, just to show the capabilities, always good to uh, take a look at the entry region. So the entry region, you can just assume we have a fluid flowing in it, a uh, uniform velocity. We just call it U. And it's in, oops, and it's in uh, meters per second. Okay, so it's in a U meters per second. So there'll be some there'll be some development in the flow. And after a while the flow profile should look like the parabola which we are used to in this uh, fully developed region. Right? So how long how long of a pipe do we have? We have a pipe of about okay 40 meters. Alright, 40 meters. 40 meter long pipe so we have to play around and hopefully before this 40 meters end we'll get a more or less fully developed flow profile so that's our goal for simulating some flow in a pipe using icofoam right so how 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 do we decide on this value of u uh, based on uh, again paris chemical engineering handbook we find that the entrance region of a pipe is given by this uh, correlation 6 46. Um, in turbulent flow, this correlation just simplifies to L by D equals 40. So, what is L? L is this entrance length, D is the uh, diameter of the pipe. So, again, uh, we um, have made this. Um, Excel sheet which just automates this calculation. So I have some Reynolds number here uh, that's calculated by the pipe diameter, the kinematic viscosity, and then the uh, the velocity u, right? So this is a Reynolds number that we get, which is a very small Reynolds number, and L by d equals to uh, this much. Okay, it's based on this uh, formula. So 0 0.37 times exponential minus 0 0.148 times the Reynolds number. And it's uh, 0 0.550 times Reynolds number and 0 0.260, 0 0.0550. So I have to change the D here to 1 because I was doing some other things just now. We find that, okay, we have some room to play with. Uh, the entrance region is less than one meter. Maybe we make it twenty times. Then we'll have uh, entrance region slightly bigger. Okay, we increase you again. Zero point zero 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 one. Okay, maybe a uh, entrance region about five meters. That will suffice. Zero point zero 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 one. Okay, now a few things to consider before we start. 
uh, we note that the mesh of this pipe the mesh of this pipe is like a very blocky blocky kind of a mesh so we have seen from the uh, from the snappy hex mesh it will look something like this all right and this is not ideal for uh, it's not ideal for uh, what do you call it simulating cylindrical flow but nevertheless we'll just use this mesh first as a kind of a crude estimate all right we can talk about adding layers well making the layer smooth perhaps other videos but for now we'll just leave it as it is just for the sake of demonstration and learning okay so again we want this U to be this much based on our entrance uh, uh, diam uh, pipe diameter of one meter and this is a very slow uh, flow and after about six meters it should be more or less fully developed so let's see what we can do I'm going to change directory back to the uh, main main folder let's go to zero and let's uh, change some boundary conditions so again um, we have this form file blah 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 okay so we have three we have these uh, dimensions what are these dimensions these are uh, you know if you have meters per second right meters per second so the meters dimension is 1 so that is indicated here the second dimension is to the power of minus 1 so meters to the power of 1 second to the power of minus 1 that's meters per second it shows you it's a velocity thing and then what is this internal field the internal field uh, represents the you know, initial condition of the velocity everywhere so all the cells will adopt this uh, internal field uh, basically it says uh, all all cells will have this velocity of 0 in the x direction 0 in the y direction 0 in the z direction so this is just an initial condition not a boundary condition so moving on we need to take a look at boundary conditions and what we start with is we want to look at we want to change the, the names from all of this to what we have so we have top patch wall and bottom patch okay so let's see whether we name it correctly we have constant polymesh boundary so top patch wall and bottom patch so let's try and remember vi0 u so top patch wall bottom bottom patch okay so we want we want the flow velocity to be this much okay 0 0.0001 okay in what direction well we'll have to open para view to take a look again all right so pipe flow oh wrong one should be a thin pipe flow snappy x mesh then we'll look at the snappy pipe dot foam okay so what do we have here we have a uh, we have the f cylinder that's actually parallel to the z-axis going from z equals 0 to z equals to 40 okay so we want to flow in the z direction so how do we change the flow to the z direction we just simply do this instead of 0 0 1 0 0 it becomes uh, 0 0.0001 save okay we shall save 0 0.0001 meters per second all right 
the wall should be a no slip condition and the bot bottom patch should be a oh okay I think I made a mistake this should be the bottom patch boundary condition so yep we just just have the bottom patch as that and the top patch should be a zero gradient boundary condition so it's flowing from bottom to top zero gradient okay so just going to press dd to delete okay so again we check top patch is zero gradient which means it's an exit condition uh, wall is a no slip condition and the bottom patch is uh, going in a z direction at 0 0.0001 which is what we wanted hopefully for the entrance length of uh, 5 meters per second okay so now we quit and then we go and check out the pressure again we need to we need to uh, change we need to change some of these uh, boundary fields so again top patch bottom patch a uh, wall first and then a bottom patch Yep, uh, top patch wall and bottom patch. Uh, all of them will be a zero gradient boundary condition. Zero gradient. Now notice these units of pressure are slightly different from uh, Pascal's. This is kind of a kinematic kind of a pressure. Meter square per second square. So it's not the same as Pascal's, but uh, close enough for our purposes. Alright, so this is kind of a kinematic version of pressure without the consideration of mass or density okay so it's like a p over rho kind of a thing not exactly i i can't i can't remember off the hand uh, offhand but that's what it, that's what it is about like it's like a p over rho all right uh, if you remember your book bernoulli's equation p over rho equals to half rho v uh, half v square or p over uh, rho plus half v square is constant if the, the if the uh, elevation is constant all right so we want to move on to the next one uh, next thing we want to note is uh, so now we have changed the uh, initial conditions and the boundary conditions we want to take a look at our viscosity so we go to vi constant and transport properties Alright, so if you're not sure where, where to go, go to constant and you see this thing called transport properties. Alright, the transport properties is here and all the only important parameter that it gives you is new, which is 1.0 e minus 6. Yes, you can type it like that. 1.0 e minus 6, you don't have to put all the zeros in. And new represents the kinematic viscosity in SI units. Alright. So next step, next step is uh, now we have changed the uh, boundary conditions and initial conditions. We've changed constant. Next thing we want to change is the system file control .date. control dictionary. And okay, we start from the latest time instead of start time. That's just to make it convenient. Okay, so the time step for now I'll leave it be. As, as this we want to see uh, whether the current number you should remember that what the current number is current number I mean you just don't want it to go over one and the smaller the better but usually it means that the time step you need is a very very small so let's try with these settings and run icofoam see what happens okay okay let's see whether we're in the correct directory and try to run icofoam Okay, so it's going to create the mesh for time equals to zero and we're going to wait a while. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward the, the thing and maybe, yeah, we're going to continue this in the next video since we're already almost going to 15 minutes. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.